What's up guys, it's Punchy, and we're back with another Deep Woken patch, and this one was huge for Iron Sing, so let's get right into this. Right off the bat, we've received a ton of interesting changes surrounding the entire Iron Sing attunements, both good and bad. There's a bunch of new talents, but some pretty significant nerfs to mantras that you might want to look out for. There's a new resource, kind of, that Iron Sing will be using, and that's your armor. Iron Sing users now have the option to use their armor at will with a new talent called Metal Eater, so when you have no ether, consume armor to instantly cast your next metal mantra and this could be cool. Combat could be pretty interesting as it allows Iron Sing players to cast mantras when they normally could not. Another talent for Iron Sing that's fairly basic is polished armor allowing your armor to be more resistant and drain less when taking damage if over 90% which is pretty cool. With all of this focus on armor usage some talents allow the user to regen armor and steal much more during combat interactions. So one talent metal absorption allows iron hub to steal armor on hits and that's pretty solid. Iron Hug should be able to steal more armor on hits if you're using Metal Absorption but with some balancing changes Iron Hug damage has also been you know nerfed down, scaled down. This mantra does a little bit less damage but steals more armor if you have the talent. The new talent Metal Thief allows the user to drain a target's armor if they successfully hit a metal pull and this could also be pretty nice. Is this talent balanced? I don't really know but armor is a huge resource for Iron Sink players and I'd expect to see a lot of people using metal with this attunement after this update. But that being said, it's not all good for Iron Sing. So Needle Barrage windup has been increased and now it also has a sound on windup so you know what's gonna happen. This mantra was pretty hard to react to but now it has been nerfed. Both Metal Ball and Caltrops have received new windups and sound effects to prevent players from getting confused about what mantra is happening and that's pretty sweet. Firing Line has also received a larger nerf since both its windup and shoot speed have been hurt pretty severely so it might honestly just fall off after this update. There's a few more Iron Sing related changes in this patch so I don't really know how this will be. Iron Sing as a whole is a lot more balanced and unique but some of these mantras have been hit very hard. Following up from last week we also have another monster mantra which drops from the pteropod which is basically the smaller crabs or turtles. This mantra is called Whirling Blade and it's very interesting and very fun. So you rush forward using a giant crab arm dealing damage and bleed. I believe the initial hit does the most amount of damage but it falls off and decreases as following slashes land on the target, so it's very interesting and I'll be sure to use this on a certain character build. The Curse of Umbral Knight has received a massive buff with how it functions entirely, so the secondary hit applied by the Umbral Knight effect no longer affects the user when parried, completely removing the parry stun from the enchant's damaging second attack. Basically on hit, Umbral Knight just does extra damage at zero cost of the user and I think it's the only actual curse without a downside. That's all for right now, but check out these changes on your own. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good one. It's punching time.